I used to wonder when people told me that they were doing a cleansing, I'm like, well, what exactly is cleansing? Like, right, what's going on? So I'll tell you what's going on. Chlorophyll, because it's fat-based, it heals your cell walls, makes them healthy. Mm -hmm. And why that's important is it means nutrients can get in and toxins can get out. And the best analogy I've come up with is, you know, when you have dirty windows, yes. you can't see out and sunlight can't get in. So think of chlorophyll as window washers for your cell walls. Just think of those scrub-a-dub bubbles, right? <laughs> Making sure everything's working because when the nutrients are going in, your mitochondria are getting what they need. And if the toxins are getting out, they're not causing, there's not excess uh, free radicals. There aren't excess ROS. Uh, they're, they're generating ATP. They're all very happy. It's like having your car function properly when it has clean oil. What's up, everybody? Back here with another LT360 podcast and someone who is back on the show for a second time, almost a year to the date. She is a international businesswoman. She is a uh, Reiki specialist, a nutrition specialist. She's the owner of uh, three different companies she's created before. And uh, most importantly, she's the CEO the chief scientific officer and the founder of energy bits as you can tell behind her with that awesome big banner and uh, her name is Catherine Arnston she's up in Boston Massachusetts a place that I used to call home so how are we doing today Catherine I am rock and solid yeah, rock and solid <laughs> so happy to be here I can't believe I got invited back a second time so I must have been on the nice list since yes the yes list. <laughs> it was a pleasure I mean uh after all the things that uh your your company has done and your products have done for me I, I'd be I'd be a absolute fool to not have you back on well it's very kind of you to say yeah. and I'm grateful to be back and help people understand what algae is because it is a um, game changer for your health for our world for our future and um i'm just bursting with knowledge that i want to share <laughs> <laughs> like uh yep she's like a star waiting to explode right that's just right <laughs> give it all to the universe so um let's let's dive into you know the the world of algae and how it kind of captivated you and um what ultimately had led you down the the road of starting uh this company sure well, in fact, I wasn't even planning on starting a company. I, I, I had a, a career, a business career. I'm, I'm actually Canadian, but I've lived in Boston for 33 years, almost 34, minding my own business. And then my younger sister in Canada uh, developed breast cancer. She's fine now. She's 10 years cancer free. But when she was preparing for her chemo, her oncologist, which is a cancer specialist, mm -hmm. advised her to change her diet to an alkaline diet because it would help with her healing. Now, they didn't tell her what it was or why it would help her. So when she got home, the first thing she did was call me, uh, not because, well, not because I knew anything about nutrition because I have an MBA, um, but, you know, I love my sister and I'm a really good researcher. So I said, hey, I don't know what this alkaline business is, but I will find out and we will make this happen. So I, I went on the, on the internet and an alkaline diet is basically foods that are alkaline in their pH. So um, and eliminating the ones that are very acidic, like dairy and meat and um, processed foods. So most of the alkaline foods turned out to be vegetables because of the chlorophyll and the phytonutrients in them. And this has all been scientifically you know, documented, which is why her doctor told her to change her diet. So she did change her diet. She did go through chemo. She completely healed. And in the process of helping her, I started reading more about plant-based nutrition. Now, this was 12 years ago. Oh. Nobody was talking about plant-based nutrition like they are now. <laughs> so after my 10th book, I thought, my, man, this stuff is pretty powerful and scientific. Someone should tell the rest of the world about this. So I thought, well, I have no background in nutrition, but I'm a very passionate person, as anyone who's met me will uh, <laughs> confirm. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to give it a shot. So the first thing I did, I went back to school. I got a certificate in health coaching from the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. And then I, I actually uh, launched my own curriculum and I taught plant-based nutrition at corporations and hospitals, um, basically anybody who would let me in. And I taught them for free. Um, but, and the reason I'm telling you all this is because my epiphany about the importance of algae and what it can do for us came after me doing these, these classes. It wasn't necessarily when I recommended it to my sister. 
because what happened was I was teaching people about the importance of plant-based nutrition and eating more vegetables because 97% of Americans do not eat enough vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> I learned that everybody knows they should eat more vegetables, but the yeah. reality was there were too many barriers. Maybe they didn't live near a grocery store or they were too heavy to carry home or they took up too much room in their fridge or it took too long to clean or they took too long to cook, they took too long to eat. Their parent, their kids wouldn't eat and their, the husbands would eat. And so endless barriers to getting the plant-based nutrition that they knew they should have. And, and most often, I think when people have, you know, too many things uh, coming at them, like do this, do that, do that, do that, do this, you know, you got to jump over these hurdles you end up just kind of doing, doing nothing. nothing as a result. Right. Yeah. It's too big of a challenge and you just don't know how to take that baby step to get started. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, I know the power of the alkaline plant-based nutrition and I know there seems to be obstacles here. So ergo, my responsibility is to find a solution. So what I did is I went back to everything I had found for my sister and I did a deeper dive on the science of everything. And one thing after another, after another, nothing was working. And then I got to the algae. And that's when I was like, Alice in Wonderland falling down the rabbit hole <laughs> because algae, first of all, is the most alkaline food in the world. So that box was checked. It's the most nutrient dense food in the world. Uh, NASA says one gram of algae has a thousand, nutrition equal to a thousand grams of fruits and vegetables. One to a thousand, right? Wow. So that box was checked. Um, the United Nations says it has the hot is the answer to world hunger because it has the highest concentration of protein in the world. It's three times the amount of protein in steak and it's eco-friendly and sustainable. Mm -hmm. It's also been used for thousands of years, most notably in Asia, where they take it every day, where it's a multi-billion, that's what the B, agricultural yeah. crop. So two things I want to point out is first of all, algae is a crop. It's not a supplement. And I've got uh, some pictures I'm going to show you guys later. Awesome. Uh, it's, it's a vegetable. It's basically a vegetable that's grown in fresh water. Here's a picture of an algae farm. I tell mm -hmm. people, well, show me a supplement farm. Well, it doesn't exist because they're made in <laughs> factories, right? It looks so, like a building with four walls and, uh, you know, test tubes in the middle of it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so algae has been, is a crop. It's food, which is, we'll talk about why that's so important. And also it's been used for 50 years with not a single negative outcome. Tell me a pharmaceutical company that can say that, right? <laughs> that's Yeah, that's beauty within itself, of course. And, um, and it's the most studied food in the world. There's about 100,000 studies. So I tell people, hey, it's not five studies, not 50, not 500, not 5,000. 100,000 wow. studies documenting the efficacy and the science about why algae improves your health, reduces uh, uh, toxins, builds your immune system. We'll talk about some of that. So it seemed that the only thing wrong with algae was that nobody knew about it. Uh, <laughs> the packaging was really weird. So, and nobody had educated people about it and the quality was really poor. But when I, and because it has so much nutrition and requires no cooking, each week we sell them in little tiny tablets. Each one of these tablets has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. Wow. <laughs> I just had a plate of vegetables. <laughs> how easy is that that's beautiful right? i like that so and, um, in terms of uh you know it being so popular in um asian culture right um where do you source yours from well we grow ours in taiwan okay. taiwan is world renowned for having the highest quality algae in the world mm -hmm. um and i i looked at all the different countries it's grown in in um, china japan india um, and Taiwan has the highest standards. The company that grows ours has been doing it for 40 years. Um, we have uh, what's called GMP certification, which stands for good manufacturing processes. Mm -hmm. um, it's grown organically. Um, and uh, we have the USDA organic symbol for our chlorella. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about two types of algae, spirulina and chlorella. Um, and uh, we do third party lab tests here in the United States. We, they test them there for purity and make yeah. sure they're toxin free. Before. But we sell our algae because it's such high quality. We sell it only on our website and also through doctors, chiropractors, mm -hmm. functional medicine, nutritionists, spas. We're starting to get a little bit into beauty. Mm -hmm. um, so the doctors need to be absolutely sure 
that the product is clean, not has does not have any metals. Mm -hmm. So we do all these third party lab tests. So you can be 100% sure that our quality, everything in the algae is there and it's tested and there's no toxins or metals. Um, mm -hmm. And we grow ours in triple filtered spring mountain water. And the reason I mentioned that is because Algae absorbs whatever's in the water. Yeah. So you never want algae that's grown from the ocean because it absorbs toxins from the ocean. Um, and other companies just are not as careful as we are. So, or, you know, you wouldn't want it grown necessarily in like purified water because, you know, what, um, you know, natural minerals are there to be. Exactly. In yeah. yeah. So it's, um, uh, and then we also, when we dry it, we, you know, we grow, it takes about six weeks to grow. Then we air dry it without high heat. Mm -hmm. Most other companies use high heat, which kills the enzymes. So yeah. it's no longer raw food. And it also um, damages some of the nutrition. And yeah. then um, the chlorella has a hard cell wall, which we crack, has to be cracked. We crack ours with um, by passing it through a sound chamber. So it's the vibrations that crack it. Almost everybody else tumbles it with glass beads but the glass heats up and lead from the glass leaks into the chlorella, which is another reason why the doctors like our algae better because we don't have any lead in it. And that would be a good thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't paint our house walls with lead anymore, right? So why would we, <laughs> why would we ingest it with our algae? <laughs> so when I realized that algae um, had so much nutrition, was so alkaline, was so endorsed by agencies like the United Nations and NASA, was so well used, uh, was a food, and so well studied, and that it, it, in the tablet form, you could just swallow it. Mm -hmm. So if you don't even like the taste of vegetables, you don't have to worry about it because you don't get, you don't taste anything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even if you took just three or four of these tablets a day, it'd be like having, it's, it meets all of your, your needs for plant-based nutrition. Mm -hmm. I realized I had the answer for helping people to be healthier. Because the reason why we get sick, it doesn't matter whether it's heart disease, diabetes, COVID, is because we are not getting the nutrients we need and we have too many toxins. That's 97% of chronic illnesses are because of those two issues. And I just wanna yeah. show you this graphic. So okay. here's a huge plate of vegetables, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't have time to cook them or buy them or cook clean them or you don't like the flavor, all you need is one of those. Yeah, beautiful. I mean, it can, does, doesn't get any easier, right? No, and it can travel with you. Travels with you. It's not affected by heat, cold, nothing. Now we sell yeah, our happens. algae in, in um, bags like mm -hmm. this. Um, and in each bag, we, we include an empty little travel tin. So I love can, those. So you can fill up the tin and always have some tablets with you. And mm -hmm. we also sell them in boxes now, um, like this, or we have big boxes too. And um, I'm just going to show you something. They have um, single servings inside. So like there's 30 tablets. So you, when you're traveling or going to your gym, just toss a few of these in your handbag or your gym bag. You could take three or four. You could take five or 10, 15 or 20. Take the whole pack if you want. There's 30. Yeah. So um, it, and, we, we try to make it as easy as possible. And as you notice, um, I don't think I showed you before, but one of the problems with algae, even though it's so nutritionally dense and well known in Asia, mm -hmm. this is the way, this is the packaging that's been yeah. used in America, because this, oh, this is what they use in Asia. Well, in Asia, it works, right? Yeah. But I tell people, why would you be inspired to buy that? You know, mm -hmm. it just has been sitting on the bottom shelf of health food stores for, forever. So mm -hmm. I design everything. And we make everything very attractive. Beauty Bits, well, it helps your skin and hair health because of the protein. Yes, recovery okay. Bits, which is chlorella, helps you recover. Recovery Bits, recover, yeah. makes sense, right? <laughs> from sports, from health, from sickness, from alcohol, from toxins. So we've done everything we can to try to make this product understandable, attractive. We know it works. The science proves that it works. But, you know, just because something works doesn't mean um, you're going to know about it. I mean, it took decades for people to find out about stevia as an alternative to sugar. It took decades for people to figure out, find out about chia seed or quinoa. Um, yeah. So, and, you know, I'm, I'm, things like uh, a lot of people are finally hearing about um, 
collagen. Well, it took, it's been around forever, but there's a company <laughs> called Vital Proteins who learned how to educate people about collagen, put it in nice packaging. So now collagen is everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. So we're doing the same thing for algae. We're trying to make it understandable, high quality, attractive packaging, uh, doing lots of education. I was on a hundred podcasts last year. I'll probably be on 200 oh, this year. Um, we're just very focused on education and working with really great people like yourself to, um, you know, who, who are committed like we are to helping people be healthier with um, just natural food. Yes, well, that's, uh, I, thank you, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, I think you're doing a great job. It, it's, uh, it's hard for individuals, like we talked about before, to just know where to start or know what to implement. And then it comes down to not just knowing, but being um, easy enough to take action in the way that you guys not only market the product, but also the way that you package it and the way that it is um, encapsulated in just a small little, you know, Advil type uh, pill or tablet, right? Um, it becomes so much easier. I, for me, when I go on business trips or when I, you know, go home and visit my family, um, it is so easy to just take one of those tins, put it in there. I, if I'm there for three, four days, I know I can fit enough in there for my three, four days. I can put them in my smoothie. Um, I, I add them to my smoothie all the time. Um, at night, you can add them to trail mix. You can put them on salad. There's so many awesome you know, ways to get them in. And then not only that, but there's different types of algae, which uh, we'll get into right now that have different benefits. So I think that's right. even, um, you know, like we said, education, let's, let's talk about that. So the right. first one, um, let's talk about spirulina, our, our blue green sure. algae. Um, well, before I dig into the different types, um, I thought I'd just help people understand what algae is. As I mentioned, yeah. it's, a food, it's a food crop. Um, mm -hmm. And in fact, we call our tablets bits because mm -hmm. they're bits of food. That's it. There's sure. nothing else in them. And in fact, well, there's 40 vitamins and minerals and over 60% protein and the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world. So the first thing I want people to know is it doesn't matter which one you take, they can replace most of your vitamins. Mm -hmm. And you, you're getting the vitamins in the algae, but it's from food. So your body recognizes the nutrients and it's 99% bioavailable. Which is the beauty of it. Um, and then really quickly, the other thing that people will have to do, right, um, is they do have to get fiber in other ways, right? Um, yes. It is not going to provide the fiber that you need. It does uh, not replace the fiber. It replaces mm -hmm. the chlorophyll and um, most of the... Um, other nutrients yeah. although there is a little bit of fiber in chlor chlorella which we'll talk about in a minute okay. um but yeah if you're um but some people have a hard time with fiber and yeah. and uh yeah. um lots of fiber is really good for feeding your biome your gut mm -hmm. biome but there's other ways to do that as well yes um so uh we, as i say we call them bits because they're bits of food uh and algae is a food as i showed you the picture of it growing so algae, interestingly, a lot of people may not know this, um, it was the first life on earth almost 4 billion years ago. So before algae, earth was just gas and water. Nothing grew. I don't know what inspired algae and it was spirulina to start growing, but it did. And then, it, and it releases oxygen while it's growing. So after a billion years, there was enough oxygen on earth for other life forms and chlorella was the next one. And then after that, well, you know, flash, Fast forward four billion years, and here we are. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the the age old story from what I know is how we got life from water to land was that the wind, after we had finally formed an atmosphere, the wind would take uh, the algae off the water and blow it onto the land, which is where it would die. But because of that, uh, you would get nitrogen and oxygen and all these different chemicals that form life and when they broke down into the soil that soil became rich and from there you would have mushrooms or fungi which grow from right. dead trees and dead plants um, so mushrooms were next and then multicellular organisms and right. here we are. <laughs> well you raise a couple of good points uh well three i'll draw on first of all algae is a single cell organism um, spirulina is technically a bacteria. We'll talk about that in a minute, why it's so important. 
Um, and an interesting fact, uh, factoid that most people would never know is that algae actually never dies. It just goes dormant. So mm -hmm. if the growing conditions deteriorate, it will just wait and, and until it, uh, like the light or rain show up again. And an example of that is I read an article, a National Geographic team went to the Antarctic and they took a piece of ice that they carbon dated to be about a billion or two billion years old. And when they got back to the office or their lab, they found some algae in the ice. So they put the algae in a Petri dish and added some water. Sure enough, started growing again. So wow. pretty sweet, huh? So wow. it, it, it will, it will, um, and they have, uh, there's some, some people think there's a passage in the Bible where, you know, Jesus is feeding um, people manna from heaven. And they now think he, they were, he was feeding them algae because what happens is the algae on the on the rocks uh, goes white because the light leaches all the chlorophyll out of the algae, but the but the polysaccharides and the protein are mm -hmm. still there. Wow. So um, so they're very they're they're very filling and they're very nourishing. So, <laughs> so interesting. Pretty funny, huh? Anyway, so back to algae. Um, so it is a food and it's a food category. Other categories are fruits and vegetables and it's neither one of those. Uh, and there are two main types of algae. Um, one is called macroalgae and the other one is microalgae. We're gonna be talking about microalgae today, but I want you to know what macroalgae is because it belongs to the same family. Yeah. It's basically, it's seaweed, mm -hmm. um, also known as kelp or dulse. It's that big stringy stuff that washes up on shore and it's important for a couple of reasons. It has a lot of iodine and it has a lot of fiber. It doesn't actually have a lot of nutrition, but it has the iodine and fiber, which are very good for your body. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about that, but it's still part of the same family. Yeah. It's our brother. <laughs> <laughs> brother seaweed. Yes. Um, now microalgae is called micro because it's microscopic in size. It is so tiny, you cannot see it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's something like a hundred, cells or maybe even a thousand of microalgae can fit on the head of a pin. That's how tiny it is. And this is why I want to go back to what you said earlier about it being in the soil. Algae is everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's in the soil. It's in the oceans, the lakes, the rivers. It's probably in your swimming pool, your aquarium. And mm -hmm. it's, it, it's probably in the air. And all of that algae is feeding all of the other animals, fish, whales, worms, uh, algae is a very becoming a very popular fertilizer. They're feeding it to fish. It's amazing, but it's all all of that natural algae um, that's grown in those places is are poisonous to humans. Yeah. The only algae that you want to consume are are harvested as agricultural crops, and the two we're going to talk about are the two that are sold everywhere, including us, which are spirulina and chlorella. And um, the reason again is that you cannot eat something that's wild is because of the toxins that are found in the in these sources. You wouldn't get a glass of water from a swamp because yeah. there's so many. It doesn't mean the water is bad; it just means that that water is bad. Mm -hmm. So, so algae. The two we're going to talk about is spirulina and chlorella. Now, as I mentioned, spirulina was the first life on Earth, and it's a single cell organism, technically a bacteria. It's called a cyanobacteria. This is because it does not have a cellulose wall, so no fiber, and it does not have a nucleus. Now, a couple of important reasons, uh, things about that no cell wall situation is because it gets into your bloodstream and your body almost instantly. There's nothing for your body to have to break down. Now, the cool thing about spirulina is it has the highest concentration of protein in the world. Ours has 64% protein and all of that protein is already in amino acid form. If you know anything about protein, you know that animal protein takes about two to three days for your body to break down. And then by the time it's broken down into amino acids, you may only end up absorbing 10%. With spirulina or chlorella, these protein is already in amino acid form. It has 18 of the 20 aminos, including the eight that your, I think it's eight, that your body can't produce so it's a complete protein mm -hmm. and so you're and because there's no cellulose wall they get absorbed almost instantly so it's 99 percent bioavailable so i i call it efficient nutrition so yes. spirulina and we call ours we have two brands actually um energy bits and beauty bits um they're exactly the same by the way uh we call it the first one 
was energy pits because spirulina has always been known as being an energizing algae. Uh, and it's partly because of that high concentration of protein, but also because it's loaded with B vitamins that convert, B vitamins are what convert glucose into energy. Yeah. And it has a um, very high amount of uh, essential fatty acids like omega-3, which are very important for your brain and for reducing inflammation. And it it's also uh, has very high amount of iron, which is what carries oxygen in your blood. And we're gonna talk about that later on. And it releases nitric oxide. Now nitric oxide, uh, rela uh, relaxes smooth muscles like your blood vessels mm -hmm. so they can open up more and allow more blood to flow more nutrients to flow more oxygen to flow and that's yeah. energizing so um, in a sense it's a it's a, a non uh spiked i guess uh vasodilator right there's there's correct. nothing um synthetic in it right it's just nothing. a dilator uh, a vasodilator your blood will flow faster your your veins will pop you'll have more blood flowing freely everywhere and yeah. and that can affect other activities in the evening yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's that not is, forget that yeah, <laughs> so um so that's why you know we spirulina plantessis is the name of the algae but we know that that's tough for people to say spell remember so that's why we called our spirulina energy, energy bits because we thought that well that's a whole lot easier to say a whole yeah. lot easier to remember and it tells you what it does but it gives you energy from nutrition it's yeah. no there's no stimulants there's no caffeine chemicals sugar uh, nothing it's just plain old straight up nutrition from mother nature mm -hmm. and uh you know i tell people you want to always remember you know, listen to your mother <laughs> <laughs> and she has your your interests at heart so yes. we're very proud of the spirulina and because we grow it so cleanly and purely we know that it's safe it's good for any age group newborns pregnant moms, athletes, grandparents. Even your pets, right? Your pets, they will <laughs> love you for it. Their coat will be shiny, their breath will be fresh, mm -hmm. their energy will be great. They get the same illnesses that we do, because especially if we you know, feed them the terrible food. Yes, so, I just got a cat, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna okay. be, when my next order comes in, if it's, uh, which I ordered today, by the way. I oh said. gosh. And, and for, for everyone listening, I ordered it this morning. I noticed I was getting low. I ordered it this morning and I got a uh, uh, confirmation two hours later that it was already shipped. Wow. So, so kudos. Right. I'm so happy. Yeah. Kudos <laughs> to you guys for the amazing customer service. Well, thank you. Um, it was pretty crazy during Christmas. And I know I, you're in Pompano Beach and we have a fulfillment office in Fort Lauderdale. So you should get it very, very quickly. There you go. That so, makes sense. Uh, we also have one in California, if anyone's listening out there, so not to worry. Yeah. And we yeah. also ship to Canada. We ship all around the world, but um, yeah. um, we're very happy about that. And we have a new website. If anybody hasn't been to our website lately, check it out. It's much prettier than it was before. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful. It was uh, it was very seamless and easy to navigate and uh, find everything I was looking for. It took oh, well. Thank less you. than three minutes to order. So Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> So, um, like just to recap, spirulina, energizing, but we, we found that um, women weren't attracted to the packaging. And remember, I started this because of my younger sister getting mm -hmm. sick. So I want to be sure women are feeling happy with our, our product. And because there's so much protein and antioxidants, it does, spirulina also builds your skin and your hair and your nails. By the way, hair guys find that they have to get you know, haircuts twice as fast, although yeah. you know, right these days, everyone's probably cutting their own. <laughs> Last time you saw me, uh, about a year ago, my hair was barely in a bun, and now it's... Oh, wow. If, if I were to put it down, it'd cover my whole face. Oh, wow. Cool. Well, keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to see some braids. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll have them on next time. No okay. Problem. All right. <laughs> well, because we uh, we found women weren't attracted to the packaging for energy bits, uh, and because it builds your skin and hair, I designed a second package and called it Beauty Bits, exactly the same size thing as energy bits, but you know, hey, I'm a girl. I, I would much prefer to keep, pull this out of my handbag than mm -hmm. the other one. But um, they both do the same thing. They satisfy your hunger, give you a boost of energy. And, uh, and those great. and those are being sold in spas for the most part, like you said as well, yes. right? The packaging, yes. the marketing for that is, is a great yes. concept for spas. Yes, very, very, very. Um, they love the packaging for that. So now the next algae I want to talk about is called chlorella. Now, remember I said spirulina has the highest concentration of protein in the world. Chlorella has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world. 
And it also uh, has a very, chlorella has a very hard cell wall, which is compared to spirulina, which has no hard, no cellulose wall. And chlorella cellulose wall attaches to toxins. So just like spirulina is an energizing algae, chlorella is a health and wellness algae. So it helps you recover your health, which is why we called our, our chlorella recovery bits. But let me talk to you a little bit about that, that chlorophyll, because it's very, very, very important, and most of us are deficient in it. Yes. So first of all, chlorophyll, I used to read that um, patients uh, or, or people who were injured during the World War II, if they ran out of blood for transfusions, they used to give them liquid chlorophyll because they would heal just as fast. And I thought, well, what is it in that chlorophyll that's helping them? Well, then I found out, and we'll send you some pictures. Okay. This is a picture of your blood, your hemoglobin, and this is a picture of the cellular construction of chlorophyll. Notice that they're almost identical. Almost identical. The almost only difference is what's in the middle. The right? only difference is your blood has iron, which is what carries oxygen, and, and, and chlorophyll has a magnesium atom in the middle. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're absolutely identical. This is why chlorophyll has been used for centuries for, yeah. for health. They would, and even up until you know 1920s because it builds your blood, because it's almost like your blood. It's literally exactly the same, uh, except for that one atom, and that one atom is what carries oxygen in your blood. So that's number one. Chlorophyll builds your blood. When you have healthy blood, you have a healthy body, you have a healthy brain, you have a healthy immune system, so um, uh, your healthy organs. So that's number one. Number two, I should, I'm going to create another image to show people this, because nobody, I'm sure, will believe me. Chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment. Yeah. Now, um, spirulina, I didn't mention, but it, it has two pigments in it. It has chlorophyll, but it also has a blue one called phycocyanin. And when mm -hmm. you put it in water, that's the color that comes out of it. And that is a water-based pigment. It's so beautiful. Deep, but chlorophyll, deep, deep. pardon me? It's a really deep, deep blue. Very it's deep beautiful. blue. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's blue, but, but it is. Yeah. Um, and the, but chlorel, the chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment. And it, and the reason why that's important is because all your health issues start at the cellular level. They, your cell walls and the mitochondria inside the cells. Mm -hmm. Now, I used to wonder when people told me that they were doing a cleansing, I'm like, well, what exactly is cleansing? Like, right, what's going on? So mm -hmm. I'll tell you what's going on. Chlorophyll, because it's fat-based, it heals your cell walls, makes them healthy. Mm -hmm. And why that's important is it means nutrients can get in and toxins can get out. And the best analogy I've come up with is, you know, when you have dirty windows, yes. you can't see out and sunlight can't get in. So think of chlorophyll as window washers for your cell walls. Just think of those scrub-a-dub bubbles, right? <laughs> Making sure everything's working because when the nutrients are going in, your mitochondria are getting what they need. And if the toxins are getting out, they're not causing, there's not excess uh, free radicals. They aren't excess ROS. Uh, they're, they're generating ATP. They're all very happy. It's like having your car function properly when it has clean oil. Yes. So if your cell walls are clean and chlorophyll cleans them, then everything works better. So that's number two about the importance of chlorophyll. Yes. Um, the third thing is, and it's not really chlorophyll, but it's chlorella. Chlorella has that hard cell wall, which um, interestingly attaches to toxins of any kind. It pulls mm -hmm. out lead, mercury, radiation, aluminum, by the way, which of course is in most vaccines. Yes, so if you're and injured, not just in vaccines, it's in a lot of people's deodorant. Deodorant, yeah. um, prescription drugs. Yeah. It's, uh, and you know, they, they've found out that aluminum is a big cause of Alzheimer's. So you want to get rid of these metals. Yeah. Um, and chlorella will do that for you. It pulls out, by the way, it pulls out alcohol. It detects it as a toxin. It pulls out lactic acid after your workout so your muscles aren't sore. Um, and in addition to that, chlorella, because it has that hard cell wall, there's fiber in the cell wall. So okay. it feeds sense. your gut biome the important fiber that it needs to release those short chain fatty acids um, um, that will heal your gut. So chl chlorella, which we call recovery bits, mm -hmm. has been used for decades for IBS, Crohn's disease, uh, any kind of digestive issue. It stimulates peristalsis, also known as a bowel movement. Yes. Um, so it's, it's very, very healing um, for, for many, many reasons. It also is loaded with a vitamin called vitamin K2, 
that mm -hmm. cleans out excess calcium from your blood vessels, which mm -hmm. is what caused arteriosclerosis, by the way. Mm -hmm. So that it cleans it out, moves the calcium into your bones. Uh, it has um, the highest RNA and DNA in the world, which helps your um, cells grow back healthier. So it's very much a wellness algae. So, um, and when you sleep, that's when your body goes through a detox and repair cycle. Yes. So we encourage people, you can take either algae any time of day, but we certainly encourage you to take it at night because when you're sleeping, why not give your body that extra little boost to pull out extra toxins, uh, you know, repair what needs to be repaired and, and it will help prepare you for that nice trip to the bathroom in the middle, in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you'd be primed and ready to go upon yeah. waking up. Right. <laughs> so, you could, so you get, so most people take the spirulina in the morning and the afternoon before a workout, anytime you're hungry or fatigued mm -hmm. and you want to boost, you could take as few as two. Uh, mm -hmm. We recommend closer to three, you know, three to five or five to 10 a day, but you could take two if you wanted. Um, the more you take, the more energy you'll have. They're both ketogenic. Spirulina is used by lots of people, including me, for intermittent fasting. It will take your hunger away without decreasing your ketones or increasing glucose. We're actually being featured in a movie called Reverse. It's awesome. uh, being filmed um, this uh, winter. Uh, and it's about uh, using food to help people with diabetes reverse their diabetes. That Dr. is... Dr. Jason Fung is featured in there. Um, some really great doctors and we're, they asked us to be part of the film. So um, it's really, we're very proud to be part of that. That's great. Yeah, it, it, uh, we had talked about that. I think last time um, you have a, a fellow who's a great advocate for the company as well, who was on the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, Dr. Dominic D'Agostino. Yes, yes, yes. And he talked, you know, greatly about how he uses them for fasting and um, he stays in ketosis and you guys have done tests on whether or not um, it increases blood glucose levels, um, which is, is big because I, I think the whole keto craze has gone crazy where people are just doing it and, you know, eating cheeseburgers and stuff and uh, not really paying attention to like the actual importance of, you know, their ketones and what state their body is in. Um, and that, and that's huge. I think not enough people are, are recovering these days. Uh, the hustle of, you know, staying up late and getting up early and not giving yourself enough recovery and, you know, being on your phone and being overstimulated in a sense, um, your body doesn't have enough time, uh, with the amount of sleep that people are averaging to, to fully recover, um, from workouts, from day-to-day -day stress, um, from the toxins that are, you know, ever so, um, close to our day-to-day -day life. They're in the air, they're in the streets, they're in the tap water, all of these things. Um, so an efficient way to uh, increase recovery, right, is those chlorella bits. That's, yeah. That's awesome. yeah. I think everybody in the world should be taking them. You know, the United Nations use them at Chernobyl uh, to pull out radiation. radiation. Uh, they, um, after the Fukushima disaster eight years ago, the entire global supply of chlorella was bought up by the Asian community because they know it's the only thing that pulls out radiation. It took, like, wow. We didn't have any product for two months because it's a crop, right? So we had to grow it again and dry it again and package it again. So, oh. um, and you know, NASA has been feeding it to the astronauts for decades. Uh, it's the first, chlorella is the first crop that they want to grow in space. Um, and chlorella has been used for, if you read anything about um, biofuel, it's always with chlorella because it's the fastest growing organism in the world. So it also speeds up your cellular growth in your body. Uh, we found that uh, both anecdotally and also scientific um, documents that show that you'll heal in half the time from surgery or an injury with chlorella. Uh, it's a combination of the what's called chlorella growth factor, the high chlorophyll, the RNA and DNA. Um, mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing stuff. And it's all natural. Like I said, we don't do anything to it. We don't even you know, use high heat to dry it. You, you can't get any closer to the bottom of the food chain than <laughs> algae. It, it is the original primal keto vegan food. And it's a gift from mother nature. And, you know, a lot of people use fish oil for, to reduce inflammation. And um, I tell people, well, you know, first of all, we're losing so many of our fish because of the demand for the fish oil. And the fish oil goes rancid after about a month. They've done tests on that. 
Yeah. And I tell people, where do you think the fish get the omega-3 from? <laughs> they get it from algae. So save yourself the headaches, save the oceans. Don't Algae never goes bad. We have to put an expiry date on it, but it's always for three years, but it technically never goes bad. Remember I said it never dies either. They go dormant, right? Yeah. yeah, never goes bad. So you could have this for years. It's much safer, purer, and this way vegans can use it. It's safer for the environment. You know, you know, COVID, if nothing else, has shown us that we have to care for our Mother mm -hmm. Earth a little bit better and ourselves, and, by the way. Yeah. So um, I think, I think uh, really quickly, I think this might be the opportunity to get ketogenic and, and vegans to to finally, you know, come yeah. in, the end, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're we're like the well, keto uh, algae is like. You know, I, I think I may have mentioned when I was, I can't remember, but when I was on Shark Tank a little while ago and um, they laughed at me and they said, we don't think you're, I think Mark Cuban said, we don't think you're in love with being an entrepreneur. You're just in love with algae. And I said, well, if you knew about as much about algae as I did, you would be in love with algae too. And algae, algae is love because there is nothing that could go wrong with this stuff. It's got your back. It's always there. It's the cleanest, purest, most natural gift to us. It's it, everywhere. And, uh, and it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, you talk about our original ancestor, right? <laughs> it, it, is, it, it is quite literally our original ancestor. It's, it's the key to life on earth. Everything. Yeah. Um, and the only problem, as I explained, is that no one has really explained what algae is mm -hmm. or why it works or help people get over the hump. Like you said, you know, if something's too complicated, most people just throw up their hands and say, you know, I can't do it. So yeah. I love the fact that you don't have to cook clean. You don't have to do anything for the, to get the nutrition that your body needs. This is the size of the tablet, okay? That has the nutrition of an entire plate of vegetables. Mm -hmm. Goes in. Kids, and if you don't like the flavor, just swallow them. Yep. Pets love them. It doesn't get any easier. And that's why I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to help people because this is the answer we've been looking for. It's as close to the magic pill, although I hate to call them a pill. Yeah. They call them bits because they're bits of food and they're kind of cute anyways. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's and I, I try not to get too impassioned because I don't want to overwhelm people, but um, we have to do something about changing our 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 habits including me you know I, i'm not perfect either um covid if nothing else has taught me to reevaluate my choices yeah. um, you always have a chance to make a different choice always so um and choices you know lots of times you don't know what your choices are so this is one i want people to consider and now that you know about algae Feel free. There's so much research. Be careful on the internet because a lot of stuff isn't accurate there. Come to our website. We have lots of science there. Contact us. We'll send you. I've got thousands and thousands of links, all from the NIH library, documenting the the truth behind algae. Um, so it's I don't make any of this up. It's all science based. Just no one's explained it. <laughs> yeah, that's the tough part. And uh, I think uh, you know making it a little more. Uh, "Quote unquote digestible um, for you know the uh, very person, funny. <laughs> right <laughs> um, will will allow uh, it to spread um, you know just like someone you know decided to make meditation a little bit more uh, you know universal and you know became part of uh, our culture right. here and, and people are accepting it more uh, there's there's time undoubtedly you know uh, will help change but if we can um, increase the uh, ability for that time to be elapsed by increasing the efficiency and the, the absorption rate of, of the information, um, then it'll only help, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, um, I spoke at a conference in Florida, actually, a couple of years ago, and a, an older, at the end of my talk, um, it was open mic, and so people were asking me questions, and this gentleman, mm -hmm. who was about 85 years old, came up to the mic, and he said, would this help me too? And I said, it's never too late to feel great. Wow, that's it's never cool. too late to feel great. Yeah. And I want people to think about that. Um, we're not asking you to, you know, run a marathon here. We just want you to open your mouth and pop a few of these tablets down with some water. That's it. 
No more commitment required. And you will feel the difference almost immediately. So it's not like you have to wait a week. It's not like you have to take more next time. It's just food. Um, and uh, because of the energy benefits from spirulina and the wellness benefits from chlorella, you know, lots of, I, I consider chlorella as your health insurance. Seriously, mm -hmm. it protects your health. It will protect um, and ensure your health. Um, I, I certainly couldn't live without them myself. I take, I, I take about a hundred of them a day, not to say that you have to, yeah. <laughs> you have to 10 a day would be plenty. Yes. Um, and remember it replaces your vitamins. So you can get rid of your multi, your magnesium, potassium, your CoQ10. You're taking spirulina. You can get rid of fish oil. There's five right there. Yeah. And for spirulina that replaces maybe a, your energy drink, your, your e vitamin, oh, your, your boron, your amino you, acids, right? Yep, your fuel for working out. You don't need any, certainly don't need any Gatorade or any of that other stuff. So um, throw them in your smoothie, you know, take them in a, as you said, in a, in a trail mix. Um, it doesn't matter who you are or what age you are. Um, these little tablets will help you um, from either um, whatever issue you're facing or might face, including COVID, by the way. I was going to say, so, um, you know, with, with everything that's gone on over the last year since we last chatted on here, um, there's been so much uh, chaos within the, the world of health, right? And uh, understanding that um, the only way a, a foreign um, virus, we'll say, right, can, can kind of attack you is uh, if your immune system is um, in, a, in a bad place. Yeah, right. if it's in a place where um, being compromised is, is too easy. So um, can you talk about how maybe these energy bits um, could help with the immune system? I think, um, you know, knowing what the immune system is first and foremost would probably be helpful. Sure. Well, um, I'm glad you, break, you mentioned that because a lot of people don't even know what an immune system is. So let me walk you through what it is and why algae is the best thing for it. So um, first of all, I broke, I've created this category for you to describe your immune system into two groups. One I call the visible immune system and the other one, the invisible immune system. Okay. Now the visible immune system is really easy to understand and you can see it on a picture in a medical book or you can just point to it. It's your skin, your mouth, your, your um, throat, your stomach, places where um, um, there's what's called mucosal surfaces. This is where your body interacts with the world. Now, this part of your immune system is kind of like a, if you had in your house, think of it as a surveillance system. It's mm -hmm. like the cameras that are constantly watching to see if anything's broken through your skin or entered in your mouth that shouldn't be there. P invaders of any kind, pathogens, viruses. It's your visible immune system that's your surveillance system. So that's, the, that's number one. Number two, you have a second part to your immune system, which I call the invisible immune system. And this is where the rubber hits the road. This is where the action is. This is the part of your immune system that once the invader has been identified, this is the part that attacks it and kills it and eliminates it. So clearly this is the important part. So think of this part of your immune system as your police force or okay. your bodyguard. Mm -hmm. They take the intruder down and they get rid of them. So what is that? Well. It's invisible because it's, uh, uh, they, these, it, it, these are cells that your body creates uh, in your gut, okay? Mm -hmm. You've probably heard that 80% of your immune system is in your gut. Well, this is why. Your body, your gut, with the help of your uh, bacteria, by the way, create things like T cells, B cells, killer cells, macrophages, white blood cells. And these are all the cells but that once your visible immune system, like your mouth, your nose, your skin, or whatever, has identified an intruder, then it sends out an alert, like 911, we have an intruder, okay? Mm -hmm. Then your body creates these cells and sends them out to take, to kill and remove the invader. But here's the tricky part. If you have not given your body, your immune system, your gut, the nutrients it needs to make those cells, 
you are a sitting duck. It, mm -hmm. It's just like asking your police force to drive around with blindfolds on. They cannot do the job. So your job is to give your body the nutrients that your immune system needs to cook up those T cells, B cells, killer cells, so that it can take out the intruder and kill it and remove it. And a simple analogy I've, I've come up with is that, you know, when you have a dinner party, what's the first thing that you do after cleaning up, of course? <laughs> you go grocery shopping, right? If you don't have the groceries, you can't very well serve your entree or your appetizer or your dessert. No dinner party, no groceries, no, no dinner party. Well, your immune system is the same way. If you do not give it the groceries, the food that have the nutrients it needs to cook up those immune cells, it cannot defend you. This is why people who are most susceptible to COVID and who are dying from it tend to be elderly and tend to have a pre-existing health condition mm -hmm. for two reasons. If they're elderly, I can pretty much guarantee you they are not eating a well-balanced diet with lots of greens, and number two, if you already have a pre-existing condition, your immune system is already working overtime to try to protect you from that. And they're probably also not eating a very good diet. Mm -hmm. The medical community has come up with a list of about 12 nutrients, zinc, B3, amino acids, chlorophyll, vitamin A, that your immune system needs. It's like a menu. It's a, it's a think of it as a recipe. Mm -hmm. You know, when you cook, you have a recipe, you know, what needs to go into the item for it to be good. Well, your body has a recipe too. It has all these things that it needs to cook up those immune cells to defend you. And if you don't give it those, those nutrients, it cannot work to its best capability. And 99% of those nutrients are in the algae. So it does not get any easier. So you, when you are feeding yourself, for your workouts, for your intermittent fasting, for your detox, for whatever purpose, you are also feeding your immune system. So it can really go to, to work for you. I have, I am 110% sure I will never get COVID because I chow down so much algae. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised my, well, my poop is a little green, by the way, but uh, that's a badge of honor because it shows that the chlorophyll is doing its He's cleansing. Doing but work. I, I, I'm probably going to be one day like, you know, Dr. Seuss, you know, green eggs and ham. I'll probably start turning green, but I'm very <laughs> proud of that. Just, um, for my for age, I, I look pretty good. And I certainly feel great. Like your t-shirt says, eat good, live mm -hmm. good. And I say it should be eat good, it, live great. <laughs> yes. Yes. That, that will, uh, I'll change that up on the next batch. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's why, um, the algae will certainly help you with the prevention side. Now, if you do have COVID and if you know anybody who has COVID, I want you to listen closely because it will also help with the, uh, hopefully, uh, with the healing side. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing about COVID. People know that it's a respiratory disease that attacks the lungs. But what most people do not realize, it is more than that. It is a blood disorder. What it does is that um, the, the virus, which is acidic, uh, goes into your blood and it kicks out the iron atom and inserts itself instead. Now, we mentioned briefly that iron in your blood is what carries oxygen. Yes. So when the virus inserts itself and, it, and kicks out the iron atom, that means your blood can no longer carry oxygen. This is why people are dying from heart disease and have difficulty breathing it's not just that the lungs are being damaged, it's that there is no oxygen in the blood. Mm -hmm. And without oxygen in your blood, your body, your organs, and the most and the biggest consumer of oxygen is your heart. And that's why it's the first one to go. So, so that's number one. That's why it is such a dangerous disease because it attacks your blood, which of course circulates everywhere. So that's number one. Number two is, we didn't talk about this. Well, we sort of did at the beginning. The mm -hmm. virus is acidic. So is cancer. Any disease is acidic. Remember, I started this whole thing with my sister because mm -hmm. her oncologist told her to eat an alkaline diet. Why is that so important? I don't, well, your blood, everyone knows that to be healthy, you need to be 97.6, I think, temperature. But there's another number. 
It's called your, the pH of your blood. And if you know anything about acidity, it ranges from zero to 14, with zero being acidic and 14 being alkaline. Your blood pH needs to be smack dab in the middle. I think it's 7.36 is sort of the number to achieve it. Now, if you eat too much acidic food or you're very, have bad emotions or even working out too much causes acidity in the blood. And so that changes your pH, which two things happen. Your body is so intelligent, it knows it needs to balance out, get back to that neutral pH. So what does it do? It pulls out minerals from your bones, your organs, your anywhere it's stored, mostly in your bones though, into your blood instantly to balance that out. But if that has to happen over and over and over again, that's what leads to osteoporosis because it's constantly pulling out minerals from your bones and it strains your immune system. So that's why my sister's doctor wanted to be sure she had a, an alkaline diet to ensure that that didn't happen. And here's the other tricky part about the acidity issue. Mother nature is so intelligent. When she developed our hemoglobin, she put a negative charge around the hemoglobin. Now, if anyone's ever held up magnets together, you know that they repel one another because they have the same charge, right? Yes. So your blood has a negative, the hemoglobin has a negative charge around it. Now, anything acidic strips off that negative charge. So now the blood plumps. Mm -hmm. Because the virus is acidic, it strips off that negative charge, causing the blood to clump. Two things now happen. Number one, it clumped blood has a very hard time carrying oxygen. So that mm -hmm. makes it even more difficult to, ca to carry oxygen. And it clumps, which causes strokes, yeah. which causes heart disease, right? So it, so that's number two that the virus does. Number three, when it kicks out that uh, iron atom, the iron atom doesn't disappear. It is now a rogue cell traveling through your blood cells and gets into your, into your lungs. If anyone's ever been to a, a dock and they've seen ships or anything, they see how the iron rusts right? Mm -hmm. Iron rusts, it's caustic, it's acidic. Now, again, Mother Nature and her great intelligence, when she put iron in our blood, she wrapped it in hemoglobin, which is kind of like bubble wrap. Yeah. So it's protected, <laughs> doesn't damage anything. But when the iron atom escapes because the virus has kicked it out, it's now this rogue cell causing damage everywhere. It's like bumper cars. It gets free into radical, right? radical, free radical, it gets into your lungs, causes even more damage. That's why the disease moves so quickly. It's this combination of lack of oxygen, damage being caused by the iron atom. So here's my thing. Now, we've, they've done studies to show that algae does help with other diseases, including other viruses. But remember, algae has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world, which is very alkaline. Hmm. Maybe because the, you know, we've got this acidic virus, maybe establishing an alkaline pH might be helpful. Hmm. Number two. Algae has the highest concentration of iron in the world. Mm -hmm. hmm. Because the virus steals the iron atom out of your blood, maybe eating something that puts iron back in your blood would be helpful. Number three, algae has the highest concentration of all nutrients and your immune system needs certain nutrients, the nine that I mentioned, that uh, to, to be stronger. So if you put the, uh, these, these nutrients back in your body, maybe hmm, you might start healing a little bit better. So. I have, uh, you know, I'm not a doctor. I cannot make medical claims, mm -hmm. but I'm just sharing with you the knowledge I have gained and the observations I've had that maybe this might help. And I'm just wishing that one day we're big enough and the awareness of algae is large enough that when people do get sick, whether it's COVID or anything, the first thing they'll reach for will be algae. Uh, and that would make me a very happy person because i know it will help <laughs> and it i'm i'm just envisioning a um a, a hospital or or place of that sort where it's it's so difficult to get people food um the the ability to get them high quality food is is almost non-existent right it's not right. even you know most people are not getting that whatsoever when they're in need of it most and um it, it would be so easy to, to bring something like that box or that bag up to a room in a patient's room and, and give them a bottle of water and, hey, hey, take 15 of these, okay? 
And yeah, obviously we're, we'll give them food as well, right? And give them something to chew and eat on. But that would go such a long way. Um, and and that's where you don't even want to get to that point, which is why if you, you know, you're lucky enough to be listening, you can start to be preventative, right? And uh, start to add this to your regimen on a daily basis um, for all of the reasons that were explained over the last hour so beautifully by Catherine. So <laughs> um, oh, thank you for letting me share it. Um, uh, it's so it's such a simple food and yet it's not simple to explain it. But once you understand it, it makes sense. That's the thing about truth, right? Yes. It makes sense. And whatever yeah. angle you come at it, it doesn't change it. It's uh, and that's why I'm so in love with it because every study I do consistently confirms my previous knowledge and just adds to it. So um, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to, to learn about it and to share. And I just hope other people enjoy it too. <laughs> yeah, well, I most certainly did. And I know a couple of my listeners and a couple of my clients who have taken it and um, who have, you know, taken my word for it from experience and uh, they've, they've loved every second of it. Um, it's helped. Um, and, uh, you know, I know you guys started a lot with, you know, endurance based athletes, running athletes. Um, I've, I've, you know, with a couple of my nutrition clients, um, I've that were in endurance athletes, I've recommended and they've tried and they've loved and they continue to take it. Um, I have a couple of personal training clients that are um, on the more elderly side and they love it. Um, it's helped him a lot, uh, one person a lot with uh, adding it to his shakes. Um, so, right. Um, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's so many um, outstanding benefits. And there's one thing I've learned. It's that uh, we often complicate things um, that don't need to be complicated. Right. Um, right. Eat good, live good, eat good, live great. Um, whichever one, right. If, if you give your body the nutrients uh, that it needs um, and, and the tools to, uh, you know, build a good body, build a good mind, build a good life. Um, it will do that. Right. Uh, you yeah. don't, you don't give a construction worker uh, a bunch of, you know, sand and say, hey, build me a skyscraper, you know, <laughs> you need, need the proper tools to do so. Um, and our bodies need the proper tools to live this, uh, this, this grand life that we all have the opportunity to uh, tackle every day. So, yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you Super. so much. Well, and um, if anyone's interested in checking us out and maybe buying some, we um, come and visit us at energybits.com, E-N-E-R-G-Y, B for boy, I-T-S.com. And for all your listeners in your community and your training clients, we have a 20% discount code. Um, the code is limitless theory, all one word. And you'll find that when you check out, you'll see a coupon box, just type limitless theory into the coupon box. It works on all products all the time. Um, we even have a little sample pack we just added um, that you can get one of each of the products for $20. Awesome. So it's a much, because I don't want people to have sugar um, sticker shock because the bag is $120, but with the 20% discount, it goes down to 96. But I do want to show you this, you know, using that quote we have from NASA that one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of fruits yeah. and vegetables. I did the math. And each bag of our algae has the same nutrition as wow. 551 pounds of vegetables. Wow. Now, if you bought those vegetables at $3 a pound, that's $1,600 worth of nutrition. So $96 instead of $1,600 puts it into context that this is efficient nutrition. Mm -hmm. By the way, each nutrition that you didn't have to cook, clean, or eat. Um, yeah, no, no dirty dishes from this no one. No dirty dishes. Remember, <laughs> if you don't have time or can't eat, can't, can't buy that, just have that. Um, and as a reminder, spirulina, we have two brands, Energy Bits and, and Beauty Bits. They're both exactly the same, but you know, women tend to like the Beauty Bits. Chlorella <laughs> is Recovery Bits, which is the chlorella, builds your immune system and pulls out toxins. Yeah. And we also have a final product called Vitality Bits, which is a blend of the two algae. Yeah, so, um, that was my favorite to start. Is it your favorite? Okay. That was my favorite to start. I Today I ordered uh, spirulina and chlorella, the, the oh, energy and recovery, um, a bag of each. So. Oh, good for you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. 
And we also sell them on Amazon. We're the only ones that sell them. So, and you can buy single servings there for $4 each. So mm -hmm. if you have any worries, go to Amazon, buy one, you know, a little pouch. And then, and when you see that it works, then come back to the website um, and buy the bag with the discount code Limitless Theory. And we're very active on social. Uh, Energy Bits is our handle for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, and we have a great blog. We post lots of science on our blog every month. There's a different Very topic. Very informative, yes. So, um, so come and visit us there. <laughs> and uh, for anyone listening, if you're if you're close by to me here in Florida, um, I know a lot of my clients I've, I've given samples to in the little canisters. Um, so if you want to, you know, try a couple, I can always do that for you as well. Um, and then uh, on top of that, um, I was going to say that you guys have um, some some new packaging coming. You briefly showed it. Um, I don't know if you want to highlight that really quickly. for Well, um, some of it's going to be on the website. Some of it's only going to be available through um, through our retail partners. Oh, okay. And uh, as it, we sell the bags with a thousand tablets. So, I mean, if you took 10 a day, that would last you like three months. So it's very, yeah. very good, high quality and, you know, replaces all your vitamins. But a lot of people don't like to put their hand in the bag. So we've just come up with a new design, uh, these canisters, and the bags will be sold in the canisters. So once you, if you buy the canister, it comes with the bag inside, and then you, you uh, empty it out, and then you can just shake out the tablets. The so you don't have to ever touch them again. Um, cool. But Good. those will only be available through our, for the next six months, through our wholesale retail partners. So if you decided you wanted to, you know, join us that way, they could buy them from you. Um, okay. awesome. And we also have them in uh, boxes with 12 um, single servings in them. And we have large boxes uh, on, that you can buy with 30 single servings on our website. So you can, on our website, you can buy the big bags or the big boxes that have the, the single servings in them. So um, yes, <laughs> everybody make sure to go check it out. Um, and then also uh, you could subscribe to um, their blog. You could subscribe to um, my newsletter that I send out. I always send one out um, a month as well with uh, some, some good information about energy bits and, and all the algae uh, universe and, and information. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> as we said before, right, uh, we are living in a universe full of algae. So it's only right that we let it... Uh, seep into our mind, body, and yeah. soul. Let and it shine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Use it for all the good. Um, so last question I have for you um, is, you know, where where does the, the company kind of go from here? Um, is there uh, a next step for you um, in terms of maybe five or 10 year plan? Sure. Well, this year, I just want to get more people familiar with it because, um, we need to help people stay healthy or get healthy during this crisis that we're in. Um, uh, and once someone, they start taking it, you, know, you rarely ever want to stop because you feel so great. So for the next year or two, we just want to roll out the product awareness uh, to a much larger extent in the United States and Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and then as we start to get more foothold and people start to trust us, I mean, it took vital proteins six or seven years to get collagen uh, as well known as it is now. And I expect it's going to take another three to five years for us to do the same thing for algae. But remember, it's already a multi-billion dollar industry in Asia. So it's been done elsewhere. It's not that, so I'm just trying to help people understand and benefit in the same way that the Asian community already benefits. Yeah. Um, and my goal over time is to, we want to build a foundation so that we can give this away to disaster areas, get it into school lunches, give it to nursing homes. Um, I do plan, my dream is to grow it here in America so wow. that we can have it completely integrated ourselves. So almost um, having like a farm. Yeah, and, and, and to be a, um, you know, to donate money and algae to organizations like yourself who are educating people um, on how to be healthy using the gifts given to us by mother nature. Um, so we have a very big agenda, yeah. which is all wellness, nutrition, eco-friendly, sustainability driven. Um, and when you're a bigger company and you have resources, it's no different than what the Kind Bar, Dennis um, 
uh, Daniel Lubinsky did. He has a he has a foundation that he uses to support his other his peace works in the Middle East. My interests are more nutrition, uh, sustainability issues here in America, and ultimately the world. Um, so, but I have to do I have to earn my way, um, and that's okay. I'm quite happy to do that because I love what I'm doing, um, and we're just grateful for the opportunity for people to trust us. So you have to earn people's trust, um, and that and takes time. That takes time. It's like love. Love and trust take time. And so we're earning the trust of the medical, the you know, holistic health community because we provide them with the science. We provide them with lab tests. Um, and so that's made me very proud. And now we're trying to win more consumer trust. Uh, and so working with folks like you helps with that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in this for life. I'm a lifer. Uh, I love what I do. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. It's my path in life. I know that for sure. Algae found me. I didn't find algae. And it's going to uh, be a long life. Without so, uh, yeah. So um, I'm open to anything we can do to help people uh, and the environment be healthier in a more natural way. That's that's my thing. So I love that. <laughs> One one bit at a time, getting healthy. One bit at a time, you got it. Right? <laughs> well, I, I just follow Mother Nature. Anytime you have any doubts, just observe Mother Nature. She will reveal herself to you, but slowly and only if you listen. Yes, absolutely. You have to be open. You have to be open-minded. Yeah. You have to have an open soul, right? All those things that come into alignment, like our chakras and uh, yes. our, our ability to stay rooted, right? in uh, yes. where we're from so nothing nothing can help more than our oldest ancestor in algae so that's right <laughs> uh, everybody please um follow energy bits um on facebook and instagram read the blog um like i said if you are local and you want to try some definitely reach out to me if you are not you can hop on amazon or the sample pack that they're offering for all four um, very, very simple. Um, it is uh, a great new website that they have. So definitely check that out. And um, until next time, uh, be limitless. And uh, Catherine, thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Ryan. I appreciate it. Go yes, on. of course. <laughs> I look right. forward to chatting soon. God bless you. <laughs> bless you as well. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. What's up, LT Tribe? DFOS here just to express my gratitude and say thank you for tuning in and continuously commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing to the episodes and the content that we are bringing you. It is helping so, so much. Once again, I want to say thank you and hope you have a great rest of your day. These times are, there's one thing that we can count on to keep us connected, and that is the one and only video conferencing platform, Zoom. Zoom is an amazing platform. It's the very platform that I use to record the visual portion of the LT360 podcast. I also used it today to share a business plan and stay connected with someone that wanted to learn more about products and services that we offer. And I also used it to train a virtual personal training client this morning it is virtually simplistic very simplistic anybody can use it and we just scored an amazing amazing deal as unfranchise owners you can get the 160 dollars valued membership through zoom for just 9.99 per month Instead of paying $160 per month for unlimited recording access and storage and tons of other features, you can pay $9.99 per month and save nearly $1,800 per month. You best believe it. I signed up. I created and transferred my account over to this pro account, and I will not be looking back because that $9.99 per month that I'm paying also comes with a residual 15% IBV commissions. Each and every month that I pay out $9.99, I'm getting 15% commissions on that in the form of IBV. And I cannot think of an easier and better way to stay connected with my team and help my team get paid. So make sure you head over to your back office, go to my account, go to my services, 
and look up Zoom video conferencing. You will not be disappointed. Let's all use Zoom to help us stay connected and get financially fit together. What's up, Luminous Theory Tribe? Hope you enjoyed the episode. I wanted to take a second to shout out a childhood neighbor of mine, Victor Rosa. He just started a new podcast. Would love for you guys to go support. It's called Real Recognize Real. Just two dudes who love movies, all right? They are going to watch all the movies they can so they can give you quick and insightful reviews on them. These guys have education backing these reviews they're not just throwing out random opinions once again they're going to see the movies so that you don't have to so go check them out real recognize real peace dfoss here i know y'all understand how much of a nutrition freak i am and when i heard the world's most nutrient dense food you know i had to tune in listen and get learned so I need y'all to check out the LT360 podcast I did with Katherine Arnston, the founder of Energy Bits, an algae-based nutrition company. It is not a supplement. It is a one-ingredient superfood, and it is recognized as the most nutrient-dense food on the planet by the World Health Organization and others. So go check out energybits.com and make sure to use the discount code limitless theory at checkout for 20% off you will not be disappointed because you will have the most nutrient dense food in your pantry in the world go check it out now peace defoss here to tell you about my new favorite kitchen appliance and no it is not a pan or even a utensil but instead it is my new pure h2o water filter it sits behind my kitchen sink It removes up to 97% of chlorine from my tap water and 77 other contaminants. We know that our bodies are made up of 72% water and there is a strong connection between the quality of the water that we intake and the quality and longevity of our life. So we have to make sure it is the cleanest and purest water we can get. With Pure H2O, I know that every time I turn my sink on, I'm getting the best and cleanest water possible. So if you want to learn more, head over to thelimitlesstheory.com slash shop and you can learn more about Pure H2O. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Adios.